What's up, you guys? It's Ness. Today, I had the opportunity of clapping with another dope creative, and I was the model. Now, when we planned this shoot, Demory and I were going for a 90s vibe, so he sent me a mood board over, and it consisted of, you know, uh, some Ice Cube vibes, some Dr. Dre vibes, some Snoop Dogg vibes, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we went out here and we made it happen. Uh, as you see, we had the SS Monte Carlo. It was really dope. I never did a shoot with a car before myself, uh, for a model or myself in general, and I've never been shot on film, nor have I ever shot film. It was just a whole bunch of new experiences all around. Demory had really good vibes, you know what I'm saying? He's a really cool dude, really dope creative. I'm really glad I went out here and did this shoot with him. Uh, originally, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even want to shoot because I just felt like I didn't have enough, like, I didn't have the clothes or the fit that I really wanted, but everything came together great. I went in my closet and pulled out what I had, and you know what I'm saying? I loved how everything came out, so. It just goes to show when you step outside the box and you just go for it, you know what I'm saying? Things can become, like, great, fire, amazing, elite. One thing that I really loved as I watched the Moy shoot with film is just how much time uh, was put into every shot. It wasn't just like uh, with digital, you normally just, you know, pop shots, pop shots, pop shots. But with film, typically, you know, you might only have 10 shots. So those 10 shots have to be planned out. Um, he was using a light meter to just, you know, gauge the lighting and stuff like that. Then dialed it on the, on the uh, film, on his film camera, the Pentax. You know what I mean? Then proceeded to take the shots. And I just really love that methodology of uh, shooting. It's more skillful in a way. You can't just pop shots and you have to know what you're doing. So I really enjoyed it. And I think I'm definitely going to jump in the film. I mean, I really enjoyed that aspect. For the first look, I did all black on black. You know what I'm saying? Definitely trying to embody some Ice Cube vibes if you see the mood board on screen. For the second look, I went with a jumper. You know what I'm saying? I, I just tried to keep it very 90s. You know what I'm saying? That's typically my vibe anyway. Because, you know, I am a 90s baby in 1992. All in all, I had a really dope time shooting. The more he told me that some of the shots came out messed up because of some things that he didn't do on his end but i think they came out great not because they're perfect but we put our time and energy into something and i think that we got some great shots for what we set out to do so here are some of the final shots these are my personal favorites the more and i are going to be making a lot more content in the future because i feel like we worked really well together check out the description for all of the Mori's information and with that being said appreciate you guys for watching that's out to anybody else that wants to create and collab feel free to hit me and let's get it you know what i'm saying peace